I want to chill you know what I mean? <laughs> 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 He wanted to see the life of a nomad, but that equals 6 a.m. in the morning. 6 a.m. in the morning. Get to work, Maya. They're going to Greece. Manta wahanu kalah ne gel bu rawi nu satu gel na heliga nu kalah heliga na lisa so sego saman busku tersudai video samain tisa mereka main orang kita na so those two little babies there they're only two months old na dah hilang apa dah dah wan bet dah sen semua ha one month old it's so crazy how people keep animals as wet, man. And these are the things that some of us living in the city have no idea about it. Because, I mean, having 20 camels, one for a thousand dollars, calculate them, man. And he's even keeping them, so definitely they're going to multiply. So in future, definitely it's going to have over 100 cows. That's the hundred thousand dollars sitting right here. That's crazy. But when you see people like this, we have a different perception that, oh, Oh, the the life they poor or something like that. You just don't know that these people go like worth that um, you and I can't even afford. I mean, we eat junk food in town, thinking that we get it in life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> man, I would love to touch the camels, man, but I don't trust. You don't trust it. I don't trust anything Come that on. is not a human being. You can just you. I'm gonna laugh if anything <laughs> happens to you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh wow, she has done it. I can yeah, do it too. Yeah, come on. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> They're making fun of me because they said I used to be a chicken and now I'm brave and I touched it. Ah. They, they know that I'm too scared to touch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. How, how long did you take you to touch it? This is my first time. Yeah, ah, ah. <laughs> What does um, camel means to him? Well, one day, one day his son get married, and he sell one camel. And the camel is the The camel is uh, you can sell it and get the money. You can, you can milk it and sell buy the milk and daily life living. You can you can and have baby. So do you start your own camera? No, he, he doesn't, he didn't do it, but some other Okay. Okay. Yeah, you will keep it. Yeah, Okay, so you come to milk now? How old is he? Yes, yes, he's gonna milk it soon. Yeah. I want to go closer to the babies. Come. Hey. If you want this newborn 
so they were both born, but look at the color difference. <laughs> yeah. This is the morning routine, so they're all headed out for the day to graze. To be far because they need open land to graze. You're like a natural. Okusawala. Sochi. Sochi battery. Yeah, he said keep going. <laughs> So these little babies have to be tied up for the day while the mamas go graze in a shaded tree. <laughs> these newborns are one and a half months old. Can you imagine? Just one and a half months. Mohammed. They're kaga wey ambe. Are they cool again? They're as tall as the. He's a three and a half year old, and the camels are. <laughs>
Oh, yeah. Actually, Steve is a really good camel herder. Yes. He's the videographer, but he's a professional yes, at this. Yes. <laughs> Maya's just running with this camel herding life. Look at this. Dereri, dereri. <laughs> Gotta get them out of the city so they can go graze. So shortly after Watamaya's morning shift as a camel herder, we made our way outside of the city to two other major establishments here that hold a huge reputation for Somaliland. We made it to the camel market itself where they sell livestock and is one of the biggest livelihoods for our nomadic people. And then we made it out even further to find a man who runs his own business, Camel Milk Harvest Establishment, to interview him and find out the value of camels. Check out Watamaya's page to find out more information and more exclusive interviews that he did here in Somalia. Mm. <laughs> that we not. Yeah, that's a big difference. <laughs> he said, "What? What? Your stomach's a bit uh, excessive." <laughs> I'm going to go faster. He's like. I'm going to go faster. I'm going to go faster. It needs a belt. It might yeah. fall, but it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He's saying you might need it tighter, but are you okay? Yeah, very okay. Ah, well, okay. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Go check out a man who runs his own business, who does his own camel milk harvest and business outside of the city. So follow the journey, check out Watamaya's page if you want to learn more about camel herding and the life of a camel herder here in Somaliland. You'll get a whole different view and perspective of Maya's trip. Learn about the life of a nomad here in Somaliland.